Hi, my name is Paul Deakin and I'm with F5 Networks and today I'm going to demonstrate the integration of the F5 command line interface with the Jenkins tool, which is a tool that's often used as part of a CI CD tool chain. On the agenda today, we're going to cover what is CI CD or continuous integration and continuous development. We're going to provide a review of the new F5 command line interface. And then we're going to demonstrate CI CD or a simple pipeline integrating the F5 command line interface with Jenkins. So what is CI CD? CI CD stands for continuous integration and continuous development. It's a software development process or a product development process that favors rapid incremental change to a piece of code or a product in order to deliver features rapidly to the marketplace. Lots of modern applications these days are using the CI-CD process. Jenkins is one of the tools that's used in order to implement CI-CD. And what I'm going to show you is how the F5 command line interface can be integrated with the Jenkins software development tool. So what is the F5 CLI? So the F5 command line interface is a way of programming a big IP or a big IQ. Uh, using a command line, uh, it provides a very simple way of talking to a big IP, but it uh, wraps the AS3 and the, the all of the REST APIs that F5 produces for things like device onboarding, telemetry stri streaming. Um, it also supports the cloud failover extension. In fact, it has integration with F5 cloud services as well, which is a software as a service based uh, solution for delivering security for your for your applications. Uh, it's delivered as a Docker image um, or a Python Python based application. And for more information, go to Cloud Docs and you can read up on it. So cloudocs.f5.com. So without further ado, on to the demonstration. So this is a very simple diagram that describes what's going to go on here. So we've got GitHub where we're going to have our code and we've got a virtual editions running in Google and we've got Jenkins doing the work of pulling the code from GitHub in a pipeline and pushing it out to a virtual edition running in Google. And what you'll see is it's a very simple automated process to pull code from GitHub and push it out to a virtual edition and you'll see the application get built. And we also have another pipeline that destroys the application or removes the application from the big IP. So we have three components here. We have a Jenkins build. We have some AS3 declarations that are published out to GitHub. And we have a big IP running in the cloud. And so Jenkins will run the pipeline. So let's review the pipeline. So this is the Jenkins pipeline using the F5 command line interface. So the first part, we're going to be logging into the big IP using the, the CLI. We're going to verify that AS3 is installed or not. We're then going to pull the declaration from GitHub. And then we're going to post the declaration out to the big IP. So let's run the pipeline. It's fairly visual and intuitive. So you can see the various steps here. We're preparing the CLI. We're verifying that AS3 is installed. We're pulling the AS3 from GitHub. And finally, we're then posting out to the big IP. And there you can see now we've got a virtual server out there with a web application firewall policy. In the second part of the demonstration, we're going to remove the application with a blank AS3 declaration that we're going to pull from GitHub and post out to the big IP. This also could be further automated. So you could integrate this with something like a vulnerability scanner that pushed 
a an XML file out to GitHub that would then trigger a um, trigger a hook that would start the pipeline. So that's it. There ends a the demonstration. Thanks for watching.